हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द यूनिफॉर्म प्लेन वेव एंड वी हैव डिस्कस द डेफिनेशन ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म प्लेन वेव नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द यूनिफॉर्म प्लेन वेव इक्वेशन जनरल सॉल्यूशन नाउ एज द प्लेन वेव इक्वेशन डिस्कस्ड लास्ट टाइम एंड ड्राइव्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर्स इज गिवन बाय डेल स्क्वायर ई इज इक्वल्स टू म्यू नॉट एप्सिलॉन नॉट कर्ली स्क्वायर ई बाय कर्ली टी स्क्वायर now i have already derived this result that that we can expand this that is curly square e by curly x square plus curly square e by curly y square plus curly square e by curly z square equals to mu not epsilon not curly square e by curly t square okay so we have just expanded now as assumed in the last lecture that e is not function of x and also e is not a function of y if the wave is propagating along z direction then we will have this equals to 0 and this equals to 0 okay and remaining equation will be del square e by del z square equals to mu not epsilon not del square e by del t square okay now suppose suppose this is our uh, equation number 1 now we will again expand it that is del square e x by del z square del z square we will expand this one okay this is vector and it has three component this is vector it has three component this is with respect to z square this is with respect to t square okay so del square e x by del z square plus del square e y by del square del z square del square e z by del z square equals to mu not epsilon not del square e x by del t square del square e y by del t square plus del square e z by del t square okay now equate the respective components means the x with x y with y and z with z we will get del square e x equals to del z square equals to mu not epsilon not del square e x by del t square del square e y by del t square equals to mu not epsilon not uh del square e y by del z square by del z square mu not epsilon not del square e y by del t square now e z is zero because we have derived in the previous uh, video lecture related to the uniform plane wave that is a ez component that is a e component along z direction is zero okay so this will become zero now general solution the general solution of equation number 1 the general solution of equation number 1 this is this is basically the wave equation okay and then we have derived uh, we have expanded it the general solution of equation number 1 and the uh, corresponding these relations uh, general solution of equation 1 it will be e equals to f1 z minus ct plus f2 z plus ct okay where f1 and f2 are the functions of z minus ct and z plus ct respectively and what is c c is the speed of light that is 1 upon root of mu not epsilon not okay and what is z z is the direction of propagation of wave now this is for the this is for the forwarded wave solution this is for the forwarded wave and this is for the reflected wave okay now suppose if if i have a ball and there is is a ball and if i throw a ball and this ball incident at this ball now what will happen the ball will be reflected back okay so this is for the forwarded wave this is for the this wave incident wave 
and this solution is for the reflected wave okay now general solution the general solution uh, if there is uh, this reflected wave is present when there is a conductor which acts as a reflector otherwise it is absent now if, suppose because we are considering the free space propagation so uh, there will be only component will be e is equals to f z minus ct z minus ct so this is the uh, solution of the uniform plane wave equation in the free space okay i hope you have understood thank you thanks a lot